Okay, a really interesting uh, question that people often ask is uh, something about skydiving and something about what if everyone jumped on the earth at once. So one of the things I've uh, put here is that, uh, John, well, here's the earth. Um, the mass of the earth is, is huge. It's 5.97 approximately times 10 to the 24 kilograms. Here it is written out um, in full form. It's gigantic, okay? Now, what, you, what a lot of people don't notice about Newton's third law is this. Now, this is way out of scale. Like imagine the earth is, you know, the atmosphere is only about that thick. You can't even draw how thick the atmosphere is here because it's so thin. Spaceships and the shuttle and all that kind of stuff, they only fly around this altitude about there. Satellites, spaceships, and that's probably even too high. They're probably not even flying that high off the earth. Um, so the scale is going to be way off for this. So just recognize scale way, way, way off. All right. Let's assume that you have a person and they're going to skydive. Okay. Now this person's skydiving from like, a, you know, way, and somebody it looks like a dog, I don't know, whatever. Um, and so this person, let's say they have a mass of, it's a big person, 100 kilograms. Okay. Now they're falling in this direction due to gravity. Okay. They're going to fall towards the earth. Well, here's the neat thing. The force of gravity pulling on that person is mass times the acceleration of gravity. So it's 100 times 9.8. So the force of gravity is 980 newtons. Okay? That's the force of gravity pulling this person down. It's 980 newtons. Well, Newton's third law says that if the person is attracted to the Earth with 980 newtons, then the earth is also attracted to that person with 980 newtons of force. And Newton's third law is correct. It works. It's, it's a you know, universal fact. So that means that this object here is moving downward um, and accelerating towards the earth. And the earth is feeling an upward pull on, from that person of 980 newtons. But we don't say, oh, the earth's falling towards the person or the, we always say, oh, the person's falling towards the earth. Well, in actual fact, both are attracted to each other. But the reason why it appears that we fall towards the earth is because of the differences in the mass. So if we look at the person, for instance, okay, and we say, well, what's their acceleration? Okay. And we say the acceleration of the person is the net force acting on the object. We're going to assume no air resistance and all that sort of stuff. So it's a whopping 100 kilograms. And by 100 kilograms, that is not correct. It's 980 newtons divided by 100 kilograms. So the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second per second, approximately, which is what we knew it would be. Let's check out the Earth. And that's down as positive. Here's the earth, okay? Well, the earth is also going to experience an acceleration proportional to the force and the mass. The force is 980 newtons negative because it's pulling up, but the mass is 5.97 times 10 to the 24 kilograms or that big massive number. Well, try and put that in your calculator. So you go 980 divided by 5.97 exponent 24, and you get one negative 1 1.6 times 10 to the negative 22 meters per second per second. This is what, for all intents and purposes, approximately zero meters per second. It's not zero, but it's almost zero. It's what we would call negligible. So although the earth does feel the pull of the person falling, it's so small because the earth's mass is so big. That's what happens. If you had two people in space and they were falling and they had that much force of attraction between them, which they wouldn't because the force of gravity would be so small, the two objects would actually move towards each other simultaneously at the same rate if they had the same mass. Okay. So that leads to another interesting question which is what if everybody in the earth jumped at the same time? And people are always like, well, the earth would move, wouldn't it? Well, let's look again. Now we got a big person. Again, the scale is ridiculously off. This would be the biggest thing that ever existed. 
and uh, biggest organism that ever existed. Let's say that you jump. Let's say that the force of a jump, of one person's jump, let's say it's a thousand newtons of force. It's not a particularly strong jump, but whatever. Let's say they push down on the earth with a thousand newtons of force. So if they push down on the earth with a thousand newtons of force, the earth pushes up on them with a thousand newtons of force. Now, let's see what sort of acceleration, and we'll choose down as positive. What sort of accelerations do each thing experience? But let's make it more interesting. Let's make it all people on the planet. I'm not going to draw all, let's just say it's 7 billion people. I'm not going to draw all 7, because I think it's more than that now, but um, let's let's not do that. 7, uh, no, I'm not going to draw all 7 billion people on here. So that means that the force that they would apply would be 1,000 newtons per person, assuming everyone's equally strong. So that's times 7 times 10 to the 9, 7 billion times 1,000 is 7 times 10, 9, 10, 11, 12 newtons of force. That's the total combined push-off force of the people. Okay. That means the Earth should experience that. So let's figure out the Earth's acceleration. So everybody jumps. And we've got about 7 times 10 to the 12 newtons of force pushing down. And we'll assume that's times, this is this number here, is what this number pushing down is. Pushing on Earth. So, there we go. So the acceleration of the Earth would be the net force divided by the mass. The net force is 7 there's 10 to the 12 newtons, approximately, divided by 5.97 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. So we look to our calculator and we punch in 7 to the power of 12 divided by 5.97 to the power of 20, or to the um, times 10 to the 24, sorry, not to the power. And we end up with 1.2 times 10 to the minus 12 meters per second per second. Approximately zero meters per second. It would be negligible. As fun as it seems that it would be a really big impact, human beings are quite feeble, quite small, and 7 billion of us don't even take up that much space on the planet if we all crammed ourselves together. Compared to the size of the Earth, we could all fit within about 30 kilometers by 30 kilometers of space if we just crammed everybody together in just square area. If we put ourselves into like a little cube, we're probably at 10 kilometers by 10 kilometers by 10 kilometers. So anyways, um, you can realize that it's extremely negligible. Um, and as fun as it is to uh, think about, it doesn't happen. Okay.